Hello comic book community, Lombok's Love Affair here. I have another comic book haul video. This time it's an unboxing. Uh, I have three packages uh, of books that I picked up with eBay gift cards and eBay rewards points. Um, and I did have to shell out some funding uh, to, to cover the difference, but um, I was very happy with what I could stretch uh, with my uh, rewards dollars. We're, we're just like slightly less than $200 I had to spend. Uh, before I go any further, before I unbox these, if you're new to my channel, I usually show comic book hauls, things I pick up in the wild. Um, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment down below. You can do one of any of those things or do it all. Uh, so uh, I, I'm gonna start with the cheapest of this bunch. Um, so these are Silver Age books, except for this first package. Uh, this first package, um, I, I did open up to figure out which one it was uh, in, in this bunch. But anyone who's seen some recent videos of mine knows that I did a whole bunch of Walmart comic book pack unboxings. Un uh, really just unveiling what's inside um, all of those. And uh, I had like 17 or so that my father sent me uh, right before the holiday season. And so I got the bug. Uh, I noticed people love those videos. And I picked up another. So I, this is probably my third one that I've picked up of this uh, Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Verse actually. And um, I, it, it's unopened, it's sealed, uh, and I don't know what's inside. So I'm not gonna open it today. I'm gonna do a future video on that, so stay tuned. I have three packs of these, so it'll be curious to see if I get three of the same thing. Uh, or if it's just the top book that is that is different. Um, so I've been refining my collection a little bit in my mind. I haven't actually done much of this other than some re recent purchases. And if you watch one of my uh, my most recent video that I put out there right before this one, uh, I, I had some Avengers, some Fantastic Four, Silver Age books. And so I'm really thinking about... Um, not diving so much into the variant covers, not diving so much into um, modern books. And for, for years, I've been trying to angle my collection to be more silver and bronze age focused. Uh, so maybe this is the year that's going to happen. So we'll see. Uh, but these two books are a step in that right direction. And they cost me um, maybe the less than what one of these would cost in the wild. I, I paid for both of them because I had... Um, uh, the equivalent of about $200 worth of eBay rewards, as well as um, uh, mostly gift cards. My eBay rewards was like 17 bucks or something like that. So that really just paid for the, the Spider-Verse. Um, so in this one, Stellar put it in a padded and it's in this. Uh, and I feel there's cardboard in here. So hopefully nothing got damaged. I kind of love when a, a book comes uh, cellophane. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. I just think it's kind of an interesting way to package a book in, an, in a good way. I, I, I've not had a bad experience. So much cellophane. It's coming off, but slowly but surely. Time for the big reveal. The book I received, the first one I found, and I almost bought this right before the holidays, but I held off. Avengers 9. Uh, it's a beautiful copy, if I remember correctly. Yes, 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 yes. I'll need to obviously take it out to look at it a little bit more. The only thing with this book, and I got it on the cheap, is it has a tape pull. Uh, if the tape pull was any more over a character, I would have cared more. I don't care that the tape pull is sort of on this random setting space. Uh, what I always care about is how complete is the book and how does the spine look. And this spine is really nice. Um, like I said, obviously I need to go back in and look at this, but, um, and I don't know how this would grade. So if someone knows how a CGC would grade a, a tape pull, let me know. Um, I don't think it would be disastrous, uh, but this is a, a complete Avengers 9. This is the first appearance of Wonder Man, and it's apparently his death in the first issue of his as well. He obviously comes back. Uh, he's a, Simon Williams is a reoccurring character. Not as much. He used to have his own series in the early 90s. Um, it was sort of like a tongue-in-cheek series, if I remember correctly. But <coughs> this is an early Avengers. This is Avengers 9, and I got this for free. 
basically for free if you add this in. Um, nothing came out of my pocket uh, with, with regards to this purchase because it was all gift cards. And that was the Christmas gift that kept on giving uh, into January. So these, the, all these books, I ordered them within the course of like a week or so, and they all came the same day. So that says something, I guess. I don't know what it says, but it says something. Uh, but Wonder Man number nine, I'm sorry, Avengers number nine, uh, Wonder Man old costume. Uh, there was some speculation that would he be in the um, WandaVision TV show. It's not why I bought this. I've had my eye on this book before WandaVision was in my mind. Um, it's just a classic uh, first appearance. And in fact, someone on Instagram said, when I, I put an a st Instagram story up, it said, uh, I, have a, I have some eBay gift cards burning a hole in my pocket. And someone said, get this book. And so uh, that kind of reminded me I was on the hunt for that. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so the next book is another Silver Age goodie, another first appearance. So let's see. So within the priority box, there's another. I didn't know these two could fit into each other. Um, I'll have to look into that at the post office if I ever send slabs. I don't know if you could tell what it was, probably not. I originally set out to buy a different issue. So the hint, this is a Fantastic Four issue. I set out to buy an earlier Fantastic Four issue and I decided that I did not want to commit uh, the extra money that it was going to take um, at that time. I had made an offer. The offer was not accepted. Actually, no, I didn't make an offer. An offer was given to me and it wasn't low enough. It was only like 5% off the listing price and it wasn't enough to sway me. So instead, oh look, there's all this uh, padding around it. That's nice. So instead I picked up a plan B and I'm really happy about it because I would be paying more for this. In effect, the, this, um, I did pay out of pocket for this a little bit more, about 150 more dollars. So I got the free Avengers, I got the Spider-Man uh, three pack, and I paid a little bit more for this one, but I got money off obviously because I had a gift card. So it just kind of helped offset the cost. Fantastic 445, right? Yeah, a 4.0. First appearance of the Inhumans. Black Bolt has a cameo on the back page. Do they note that? They do. They actually say it's his first appearance in here. Um, and it's funny because before I was really hunting this book, I didn't know that they were in the background. I, I never noticed that. I don't know why. Um, not a fan of the TV show. And so part of me wonders, will they ever get a second shot? But this book has become a little bit more in demand these days. Uh, I think this book is rising. It seems like the prices have increased gradually over the past several months. Um, is that just the pandemic and people clamoring for everything? I don't know. Uh, will it settle back down? But um, it's got a sticker for quality comics on it, which is, I don't know. I, I guess that's where I bought it from. Um, that must be their inventory sticker. I can take that off. It's on the, it's on the um, plastic, not the slab. So awesome Jack Kirby artwork. Fantastic Four, old, old book. Um, you know, this, this run is, is an amazing run because um, it's, it's the, you know, 45 and 46 are in humans. You got 48, 49, 50, which is, uh, the fantastic uh, uh, with Silver Surfer and Galactus first appearance, some momentous books, and then 52, 53, I believe, are, are Black Panther. So, this is a great run. So, uh, and this is, uh, you know, a, a nice one to have in the collection. So, I'm really pleased with these two Silver Age books. Um, old books make me giddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that's just an area that I'm, I'm going to continue to focus in as much as possible. Um, 
it, the volume you can't take in as much, obviously. And it's not about volume, it's about quality and, and the books that you wanna keep collecting. So um, will I ever be a completionist with these runs? Um, it'd be nice, I don't think I can be, um, but I do have my Spider-Man and my X-Men runs, which are my, my bread and butter. So that's my haul, uh, three books, technically. Uh, well, one value pack and, and two Silver Age books. Uh, let me know what you thought. Hopefully, hopefully you liked what I, what I showed. Um, if you like this, hit a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, comment down below, subscribe if you wanna get notices every time uh, I, I post a video, which is not too much. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.